Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I was excited to use uh, new products from the Christmas collection from Lee's Wettier. So you have this palette over here and you have like crayons and well lip pencils, lipsticks, all that jazz. But to me a product that I love and that I adore is the highlight golden rose color. And of course they used it today. But anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to create a look in mind and it was gonna be like very kind of uh, graphic, but it ended up being something else. And when in doubt, just throw on top some glitter and usually it turns out okay. So I think it turned out okay. Um, when I look at it, it kind of reminds me of polar lights. Like, um, well, the collection is called Aurora and Aurora Boreal in English means polar light. So I think it kind of resembles that you have like green like glitters a little bit you have blues you have a little bit of golden and all of that jazz but anyways i think it turned out okay hopefully you like what you see and if you are interested in learning how to complete this out of the box look well keep on watching just a little bit of warning before I start describing what I'm doing. This was one of these looks that I didn't know what I was going to do. So um, bear with me. The steps by steps are all over the place, but the ending result is beautiful. So what I'm doing right now is taking the gold color from the palette and applying it as a highlight. So right on my brow bone and bringing it right into my crease. After I'm starting to define my crease by taking this soft pinkish cranberry color once again from the palette and just applying that mostly on the outer part of my crease, making sure it's well blended, nothing too stark or sharp. I'm also applying that pink color onto the lower lash line, very kind of diffuse, nothing once again too defined. We're moving on with the eyeshine pencil in Aurora. This is a beautiful blue that has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, the shimmer is kind of pink and gold and all of those beautiful colors. And of course, to intensify it, I'm applying that navy color right on top. Once I'm done with that, I want to focus a little bit of blue, well actually a whole lot of blue, on to my outer corners and I'm applying that right in my crease, not as high as the pink eyeshadows we just applied, but just very kind of keeping it tightly into the crease, if you know what I mean. This is one of these looks that you need to kind of apply color and then diffuse it and reapply and diffuse it, so you need to be a patient girlfriend. And of course, because we lost a little bit of intensity, we lost a little bit of that pink, so I'm reapplying it generously. I'm moving on to the iridescent eyeliner in the color Aurora. This is kind of not see-through, but it's not as opaque as I wanted it to be, but it was perfect as a base. So I'm applying it everywhere onto the lid. And after I'm going in with the purple eyeshadow from the palette and packing it right on top. And I'm telling you, when I did that step, I was like, oh my God, let's sing for the angels up above. I was kind of scared because I thought that this harsh line wouldn't blend out, but it actually did. Of course, there was a little bit of fallout, but it was easy to brush off. So just taking a fluffy brush, nothing on it. I'm just going back and forth, making sure to diffuse that line. It looks a little bit messy, but I swear it will look better in a second. I'm then going back into the blue because I really want that blue color into the crease, reapplying it, making it more dark and more visible and just more pigmented. And as you can see, it's starting to take a shape um, color wise. You see where the colors are and where I want them to be. And of course, let's not forget about blending. I'm taking uh, just a fluffy brush. This one is clean. I don't want it to look too messy. And of course, I need that gold pop color into the inner corners. So I'm applying that very, very freely. And of course, reapplying it right on the brow bone because I want it to pop. Pop it, girl. And I'm doing basically the same thing onto the lower lash line, re-intensifying that blue color. And after, of course, going back into that kind of soft, rosy cranberry color and smoke it out even more. Because girl, we like it smoky. Whenever I want a black eyeliner into my waterline, I always use this perversion from Urban Decay. It is the blackest black. It stays all freaking day. I love it. So after I've applied um, some very natural lashes, well, they're natural to me. I believe these are Demi Wispies from Ardell. And of course, 
several coats of mascara. Moving on to this beautiful blush, it is very, very pigmented, so I'm going very gently with it. It is Corail from Lise Wetty. It is a cream blush, and you know me, I need a highlight. I'm taking this beautiful rosy gold highlight called Aurora from the collection as well. This is limited edition, so girl, get your hands on it. Get it, girl. As for the lips, I wanted them to be pink, but I actually figured I should do them nude, so I'm taking this Naked Lip Liner from Urban Decay, applying it everywhere on my lips. And after, I'm putting on top champagne. It is a Rouge Gourmand Lipstick from Lise Wetsy. These kind of lipsticks are very moisturizing and they do have a little bit of sheen to them. I wanted a little bit more sheen because you know me, I need my glossy lips. So I'm taking this Buxom Yoohoo Full Body Lip Gloss, applying it on top very generously because girl, I need that pout. Give me that pout so I can be a trout. Yes, girl, serving some fish. Sorry. And then of course, why not add some glitter? I wanted this look to be kind of reminiscing of polar lights, so I'm taking this torsion uh, glitters from Urban Decay, applying it everywhere, and then I decided to take a bigger brush to kind of diffuse the glitters because they were all stuck at the same place. And it's a beautiful kind of color because it gives you a little bit of gold, a little bit of blue, and of course a whole lot of green. And I think all of those colors together are like super beautiful, so I was exciting with the turnout of this look. I'm also uh, off camera adding a little bit of that glitter onto the lower lash line. Yes, I know that was a lot of steps. I'm sorry, this was a look that was kind of on the whim because it didn't turn out how I started this look, to be honest. I wanted it to be something else, but I think it turned out okay. So I'm not going to throw away this footage because I think this is somewhat presentable. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out the new products from the Lise Wetty collection called Aurora, which is in stores now in your local drugstores. Make sure to check out all of the info down below. Make sure to click it and Everything will be shown, the product that I used, where to find me on my social media, all of that jazz. And that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. I just dropped the palette and I pray to Buddha that it's not broken. Bye. I don't even know if it will fit in the frame. Let me show you. I, I peaked, I'm gonna be honest, I peaked. And if you are not a fan of big calendars and you just wanna get your money's worth, you could buy this, open all of the the freaking doors and just take all of the products and give it like um, to your friends or in a stocking st uh, stocking stuffers things like that because I'm telling you there's a whole bunch of products in this that everybody loves and yes yeah